Alright guys, I created a new document in Adobe Illustrator. It's a letter size document and now I'm going to place what I plan to image trace. I've pre-cleaned it up in Photoshop and we've talked about how to clean up an image when we did your portfolios. So now I'm just going to go ahead and find that file. I'm going to hit the place button. I'm going to get a little preview of it on my cursor and then I'm just going to click and drag it down. Okay, now I definitely want to scale this down. It's a little big. I'm going to hold the shift key and then hold down a corner and it's going to proportionally scale it down so it doesn't stretch it out. Right now, um, let's switch it um, to show you. I have a workspace called Miller Workspace One. Now I could use my pen tool and trace every little bit of this, but that would be a lot of work. So what I can do is I can switch my um, workspace to tracing. When I do that, I'm going to click on this image and this is really nice because it'll kind of like keep the integrity of your drawing okay and make it feel more organic so if I click right here I tend to like black and white logo when I click this I mean there's other options as you can see and some work better it just really depends on how you draw I like a solid like a very contrasty black and white look so I want the black and white logo I'm gonna click that now it's see it's now converted into black and white which I like. I'm going to still, it looks like it's missing some of the black. So this is where I'm going to up the threshold. When I do that, it's going to have to render it again. See how it filled it in with the black. And then I'm going to turn down my paths. Lower my paths. It's going to render. Okay, once you're done with it, it's still one piece. If I hit the expand button, Okay, now it is converted to paths. Okay, all right, and so now I can click and drag. I'm using my um, direct selection tool. I always think sub selection tool. Anyways, I'm just gonna click on that. I'm just gonna delete that bounding box. And now I can click, I can zoom in, and I can click in certain areas. See, like you can actually click in that space here. I'm gonna switch my workspace back to my normal workspace. Actually, I want workspace Miller one. That's better. Okay. Um, I have my swatches here and I could go in and start thinking about giving it some color. So the nice thing is I can go ahead and find those shapes, start filling in those areas with color because it's broken them up into actually different shape 